Hi, so this video is to go over the life cycle assessment for ENV 430, focusing on the impact analysis. And so this again goes over uh, your homework for the inventory and impact, and we really focus on number three after you've done some of your um, impact research. So for the impact analysis, what you're really looking at is are these three aspects. And so individually when we're looking at these, you want to kind of really take out what's involved. And a lot of it relates to does your product produce pollution, um, what kind of, kind of research uh, resources does it use, and does it affect human health or you know, welfare of any kind. And so around pollution, you can think about what kind of air emissions are being produced. You can think of methane, uh, sulfur dioxide, carbon dioxide. Does it uh, do these emissions impact global warming? You can also think about water emissions or water export. Uh, is wastewater used? Uh, is any water used? If any water is used in the product, it's going to produce some sort of wastewater. Untreated chemicals or even treated chemicals. And it takes a lot of energy to actually treat something. So solid waste, do you have scrap materials? Do you have different process waste? Do you have stuff going to the landfill from the actual manufacturer um, process itself. And so when we're thinking about ecological systems degradation, this really is looking at does the inventory aspect negatively affect ecological systems? And so here we can think about chemicals uh, are produced if they're chem toxic chemicals or CO2. Uh, we can also think about some sort of physical uh, loss of system or habitat. So if some sort of aspect of the product actually removes land, um, this, would, this would count. Uh, biological ecological systems degradation. So this relates to, um, are you introducing a foreign species? Are you changing the genetics of the species that are there within a forest or within a, um, I don't know, bugs? Uh, are you overusing a species? So if you're using for example, a lot of the leather, are you changing the genetics of the cows to help you grow more leather? So that's, that would be a potential aspect here. Under resource depletion, what we're really interested in is looking at any inventory aspect, uh, whether it depletes or negatively affects resources. And so here, kind of the easier, easiest one is fossil fuel use uh, or non-renewable resources. If you use any of those, we naturally are depleting them because we cannot put them back when we're done. Um, there can also be some sort of renewable energy impacts. So if you're getting all of your energy from, say, a hydroelectric power dam, uh, that has to actually go across a river and it can deplete uh, fish stocks by affecting uh, populations. So that would really only come out if you're really familiar with, uh, with your energy store. So maybe not quite yet. Uh, human health and welfare is another aspect, and the question you want to ask yourself is, does the product or aspects within the product inventory cause disease or negatively affect welfare? And so for cigarettes, this is a good one. It is directly linked to cancer. And so your product would fit into this. Uh, if your product uses asbestos or um, some other aspect like that, that has been linked to health if effects. If your product um, during the manufacture produces any sort of smog or smog-like products. Um, that would fall under here as well if your product contains high sugar content or in our cookies, uh, you could potentially be contributing to um, diabetes. And so by itemizing these, you can start to realize and quantify where some of these effects are. And so some other examples you can think about during the impact analysis that you do yourselves. Um, how does it contribute to global warming? Does it contribute again to smog, uh, ozone depletion? Does it contribute to acid rain? Uh, or anything produced that humans inhale? Um, any carcinogens, et cetera. So again, we're kind of going back to our pair of leather shoes, and this is the inventory analysis from our last video. So we're going to start with this and think about what kind of aspects within our ecological systems, degradation, et cetera, can we pull out of here. And so what I kind of brainstormed here are from the energy here that's used in almost every stage, 
I can say whenever you produce energy uh, or use gasoline, you're producing CO2. Uh, the chemical waste from tanning kind of can go here. Then you have land degradation if you're actually growing cows in a lot of farms, actually uh, degrades land as it's being produced. Uh, if you're using fertilizers from farming the rubber and cotton, it can degrade water. Um, mining can degrade land. You have a couple of metals up there that you need to, need to mine. Um, land are needed for roads to move the items and the raw materials. So you can kind of, this is a little more of a stretch, but certainly counts. Resource depletion. You are using fossil fuels in several of these stages. Uh, that counts as your resource depletion. You are using metal to make actually within your shoes. So that is a depletion of mining. Uh, fossil fuels. Uh, again, uh, that's kind of highlighted portion here. These are kind of additional fossil fuels that you would use specifically for the plastic bags. And this, to make plastic, you need usually natural gas, crude oil, and a few other things. And so again, you kind of could have a second list, uh, second item here. Human health and welfare. This is a little trickier. And so for leather shoes, uh, chromium is actually within the leather shoe itself. And so chemicals, the tan hides, you can kind of start to pull out what aspects of those might be negative. Uh, greenhouse gas emissions, you can think if there's a huge amount of trucking that's needed to move your product, you can kind of pull that down here too and say, okay, inhalation of car exhausts as well. And so for this uh, assignment for uh, number two, or number three here, I asked for at least two items in each and have a total of 10 items at least. And so here I have at least two items, or here I have two items, uh, and I have 10 total items. And so this would count uh, as a, a good assignment. And so again, I encourage you to go over your 10 in case one's a little iffy. It'll, it'll hold you pretty well.